In this video lesson, we will learn how to solve quadratic inequalities using the factoring method. As with quadratic equations, there are two ways of solving quadratic inequalities. There's the factoring method, and there's the quadratic formula. Now we're going to focus on the factoring method. So let's just do an example. The example will be x squared minus 4x plus 3 is less than 0. I will just factor this equation, the, the formula, x squared minus 4x plus 3 for you. It's x minus 3 times x minus 1. For more on how to factor quadratic functions, you can look at my video lesson with that title. So now we have this factored form of the inequality. Where do we go next? Next, we need to find the roots of this function. x minus 3 times x minus 1 equals 0. If that's true, then 1 of x equals 3 or x equals 1 must be true. So the two roots of this function are 1 and 3. I will draw these two points on the number line now. Here's x equals 1 and x equals 3. So now we can move on to the end of the solution. After we have the roots, we have two different methods that we can use to solve this inequality. The first method is to test three points. We test points that are on the left of the, the roots, between the roots, and to the right of the roots. These three segments each have their own sign. They're either positive or negative. To find out, we just test. So x equals 0 is to the left of the roots. And when we plug it in, we just get positive 3. So that little segment, the interval to the left, gets a plus sign. It's positive. 2 is between 1 and 3. If we plug in 2 to x squared minus 4x plus 3, we will get 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3 which is 4 minus 8 plus 3, which simplifies to negative 1. This is negative, so we put a negative sign. The interval between the roots will be negative. The dotted lines are just for clarity. Now we just test one more point. This point will be to the right of the roots. It will tell us the sign of the interval to the right of the roots. When we plug in 4 to x squared minus 4x plus 3, we get 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 3, which is 16 minus 16 plus 3, which is 3, a positive number. So we put a plus. Our original inequality was asking for less than 0, or negative. So we highlight the negative section, the interval between the roots, and we put open circles because we don't want to include the roots. We want strictly less than zero. Now here's a second method of getting the same answer. We look at the function x squared minus 4x plus 3. The coefficient of the x squared term is 1, which is positive. This tells us that the parabola of this function, its graph, would open upwards which means that the negative portion has to be between the roots. It doesn't matter which of these two methods you use. They're both pretty much the same. Either way, you get 1 is less than x is less than 3, or an interval notation, 1 comma 3 with parentheses. And now we just box in our answers. I hope you found this video lecture helpful. Thank you for watching.